In this video, we're going to have a look at using the Pro Accordion and we're going to integrate that into our posts. And to do that, we're going to use the Pro Accordion from Oxy Extras. So we have Oxygen installed and we also have Advanced Custom Fields Pro, which will be used for the accordion and it'll take the form of perhaps um, frequently asked questions on each post. And just to show you the setup in Oxy Extras, we head over to Oxy Extras and we've activated Pro Accordion. The first thing that we're going to do then is we're going to head over to Advanced Custom Fields and we're just going to create a, a field group. So we'll add a new field group and we're going to call that, uh, let's call that Post FAQ. And then what we're going to do is just add the fields. So it will be a repeater field that we add to the post. So it will be, we'll call that the FAQ repeater. And inside the repeater, we will then add the, the fields and the field will then just be question. and answer. Right, so there we've created the field group. And what we're also going to do, or by default, it's already done for us, the post type is equal to post. So any post will have the frequently asked question repeater. And to see what that looks like, we'll head over to posts. And we have the default post in WordPress, so we'll open that. And then what we'll do is we'll go ahead and add a row and let's call that question one and we'll call that question answer answer and let's add a second row question two and question answer. If we're not happy with the layout of our question and answer uh, entry fields, what we can do is head back to custom fields. We'll go back to the post frequently asked question. We'll go back to the repeater. And the first thing that I think we'll do is instead of add row, what we'll do is we'll say add question. And then what we'll do is we'll change the layout to a row layout and the answer we're going to change that to a text area. So we have a little bit more space to upload some information and I head back to posts. We go and edit the post and now you'll see that the layout is a little bit nicer for question and answers. Question two, question answer two, question answer one. Right, so we'll update that and now we need to head over to the template. Now at the moment in the website I have installed Oxygen and it's just the standard Oxygen theme. So that's the default 2021 but we have Oxygen installed so we have the default theme. Now we're going to create some uh, the post archive page and then we're going to create the template for the posts. So I'm going to head over to templates in Oxygen and because I've installed the atomic theme I already have an archive layout for posts and I have a single page for blog posts created for me already. So that does make it a little bit easier. We'll then just head over to edit with Oxygen Oxygen loading. Right, oxygen loaded, and now we can add our Pro Accordion. So let's get started. We head over to the structure, and what I'm going to do is here is my comment section, and here is my post section. So what we'll do is inside the simple article, I think what we're going to do is just add another section between the article and the comment section. And section. And inside this section, we're going to add the Pro Accordion. So I head over to Extras. 
Pro Accordion is in the list. I select Pro Accordion and then the accordion type. I'm going to go with Accordion Dynamic Items Advanced Custom Fields. And the source will be from the current page. We could also choose a custom post ID or an option options page, but in this case, it'll be from the current page. And then we need to enter the repeater field, the header text field, subtext, and content field. So to do that, let's head over to advanced custom fields. And then what I'm going to do is get the, the value. So the first thing that I need to enter is the repeater field. So that will be the FAQ repeater. So we'll enter that. The next field to enter will be the header text field. So that will be the question. We don't have a subtext field and then we have the content field. So the content field will be answer. Right, so there we have the question and the answer installed and I'm just going to apply those parameters. Right, and there we have, already we can see we have question one, question two without any formatting. I can head over to the website and in this case what I'll do is I'm going to go straight to the post. We'll view the post and you'll see that when it loads, there we have the FAQ inserted on the page. So that was done pretty painlessly. Uh, what we can do now of course is go into the uh, styling uh, of the particular items. So Let's just have a look. The first thing is when it comes to the visibility in the builder, you, we can have it collapsed or expanded, but that's just while we're working in oxygen at the moment, let's keep it expanded. Then we enter the different fields. And do we have the first item, auto, uh, item open, true or false? And that would be on the front end of the website. So now when I, I load up, you'll see that question one is already open. So that's a much nicer way of doing it. And that engages the, head, the, the, the user a little bit faster. We can set the duration for opening and closing. And then here we can come in and start looking at styling the header. And there's a lot of styling that we can do. So we have uh, colors, spacing, title area spacing, header text, subtext, borders, and box shadow. And then we have the accordion item. So we can do something with the accordion item as well. And then of course we have the content. We have the toggle icon. If we want to change the toggle icon, very easy to come in, change the icon. So we could go with a plus. Maybe we want to try a plus, apply that. So now we have the plus on the right hand side, or we could go for something a plus with a circle. So we can pretty much come in here now and uh, do what we want to do. And when it, um, expanded, we can also then change the icon. So we could switch the icon. So toggle close icon. And maybe there we want to do something a little bit different. And just for demo sake, let's just do a minus. We'll apply the parameter and save that. So now when we, you'll see minus to close and a plus to open. Right, so that's how easy that is. So lots of nice formatting that, that can be done. And then we then also have a context icon or counter. So, We can choose to enable or disable that. And let's go with a minus in a block. And then what we can also do is under advanced is we can also enable or disable the, the FAQ schema markup. 
So by doing that, as this is an FAQ, this will enable the FAQ schema markup by default. So I think that that um, then takes care of the SEO side of things. And what I'm going to do then is just to play a little bit with the formatting. So if we have a look at the accordion item, what we can do is we can have an active box shadow. So some of this may not be how you would deploy, but just to show what that would look like, we can have a look at something like that. And we can also have a look at then saving that. And let's just have a look at that on the website. So we have our question and it opens. And when we open each item, it gets the shadow around it, which then just highlights it. If we were to add another item to this post, so let's go along and add an item number three, add question. Answer three and update and view the post and there we have our third question updated. So the box shadow does then just give it a nice highlighted effect. Make it stand out a little bit more interesting and let's have a look at that in the mobile view. So I'm first just going to move this to the right hand side and then change that to the mobile view. Let's scroll down. And there you can see it works just as well in the mobile view. If I wanted to change the formatting, then we just head down to the mobile view. And now what I'm going to do is head over to the accordion header. And it's H4, let's go to typography. And let's change that, make that a little bit smaller so that'll make it easier to read in the mobile view so there we have it nice and easy in the mobile view and then of course back to the normal view and back to the larger text so that's how easy it is then to update and style on the mobile platform so that's how we use oxy extras to introduce faq with a schema markup on a oxygen built website so I hope you enjoyed that tutorial and thank you for watching.